Hi guys, I'm a bit late for this week's Tips and Tricks Monday, but anyway, here's trick number two, and it has to do with comfortably debugging source code, which involves a lot of proxies, for example, when you're working in a Spring project. So let's check it out. All right, so as you can see, I'm in one of my courses, Spring Core Masterclass, and it doesn't happen too much what happens inside that project, but there's one main class, Trading Application, Again, you can ignore these lines up here and you have one application context where you get a bean and that bean is a user service. And with that user service, you can register a user to the database and whatnot. Now, when you step inside the register method, you'll see that the user service itself is annotated with the add transactional annotation. And that means Spring will wrap the user, user service in a proxy and then before you step into the register method, Spring will open up a database connection slash transaction. And when you step outside the register method again, Spring will close the database transaction slash connection. Now, when you go back to the trading application and then set a breakpoint and debug, the application will boot up. You hit F8, step over. F8 again, and then you want to step inside the register method, so you'll hit F7. And then you might freak out because suddenly you're not in the user service register, but you're in a method interceptor in some spring source code. And that method interceptor is basically intercepting the register method, and then we'll open up and close the database transaction and whatnot. And obviously that's not really what you want to see. You just want to step inside the register method. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. And one of them is trying to exclude library source code from the debugger. And you can do that by, first of all, stopping the debug session, open up an IntelliJ data settings, search for stepping, build execution deployment, debugger stepping, that's the right place, and do not step into classes. And here you can add a new pattern. And you could say, I never want to step inside Spring Framework classes, for example. Do that, hit OK, and now let's try and debug again. See what changed. Again, I'll just hit F8 twice, F7, and now it looks different. So we stepped inside a different class here. That is a logging. I also, and that's a bit fiddly, you might have to exclude a couple of these packages. And obviously only if you're sure you never want to step into them, but which is uh, fine for spring classes and logging classes most of the time. Let's try it again. Third time is a charm, hopefully. Right, F8, F8, F7. Last but not least, we're inside the org h2 database driver because the proxy opens up a connection. But now, hopefully, that's it. Let's see, we're excluding these packages. Debug, F8, F8, F7. And it takes a while, but then you just step right inside the register method. So no more spring classes, no more database classes, no more nothing. You just can have hit F7 and you're good to go. And obviously if you're excluding too much, that could be troublesome, but as a quick trick, that often helps. and makes you not explode again or freak out whenever you see these dynamic method interceptors from Spring. Good, that was a short trick. There's other ways of doing the same thing. For example, in IntelliJ, you can work with the Shift F7 keyboard shortcut, which is a smart step into. Try that out. Otherwise, try out excluding these packages from the debugger in your own project, and then tune in again next Monday for the next trick. Stay tuned.